This is a Gargoyle Gecko, and in today's video I want to go over the top 5 reasons why you should get one as a pet in 2023. My name is Bobby, this is Bimini, and this is a one-year-old super blotch gargoyle gecko. Now, she's huge for one year, but she's a great eater. So I wanna go over the, the main reasons why gargoyle geckos are really a great pet to get in 2023. Reason number one. You can keep them as simple or as elaborate as you would like. So right now I'm keeping most of my geckos in tubs. Previously I had them in giant exoterras, uh, which I decked out with live plants, uh, made them bioactive. Um, I just decided since I wanted to breed, I reinvested all the money I could get from those into higher quality geckos like this one. Then what I did was transitioned into tubs. I mean, some people can start there. They, you can make them just as elaborate inside. They just don't look as nice on the outside. One thing I'm looking to do eventually is after I start selling some of their babies is to reinvest and get them back into PVC enclosures. So really there's a budget area for everybody. You can either go low tech or high tech. You don't need special lighting. You don't need special heating. Really, as long as your, your house stays within around, you know, 70 to 78 degrees, uh, you should be good to go with housing these guys. Reason number two. They're easy to feed. What I love about these guys is that she has really never taken a bug in her life. Um, I have other geckos who love bugs and grow really fast, but some gargoyle geckos just don't like them uh, and some do. Uh, there's some ways to, to get them to, to eat their bugs but really their main staple diet is a powdered diet either Rapashi or Pangea. There's a few other companies out there but those are the two best. Uh, I'll show you what they look like here. And basically you mix that with water. I put it in a ketchup squeeze bottle and that'll last me about two or three days. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll squeeze out just what I need for each gecko and every other day fill up their, their uh, little dish. So what's nice about that is they're really easy to feed if you ever go on vacation and people are squeamish about bugs. You don't have to really worry about you know making them feed crickets or roaches or things like that. But what's nice about them is a lot of them will take crickets and roaches and other worms. Don't necessarily recommend mealworms, but they will take mealworms if you give them the opportunity. Um, the extra protein does help a lot of them grow, but really what I've found is that their genetics plays a bigger factor on how fast each gecko grows, and she's a great example. I have other geckos, which I can show you a little bit later on, that are the exact same age and half the size. So uh, they do just fine on the Pangea or Rapashi. Reason number three. Reason number three is right here. They are great for handling. Now, Bimini is exceptional when it comes to handling. She just sits there, hangs out with me. She's been that way since she was little. And really what I find is that really jumpy babies, you can sort of hand tame them down, but again, a little bit of a genetic component there. Um, her and her sister are probably the two easiest uh, geckos I have to handle. They just seem to not mind it. They'll hang out on my head. You know, they'll hang out on my shoulder. Wherever I put them, she stays. Now she does jump, she will move, you know, if I give her the opportunity to, she'll go and walk around. But what's great about this is that I've got two little kids and she's the one that I hand off when I want them to hold a, a gecko. Now, anytime you're, you're dealing with children, make sure that they know not to squeeze the gecko. They can do damage even at a young age. But she is a fantastic pet when it comes to handling which just makes it a lot more fun. Reason number four. It's really fun to watch them grow. So some grow super fast, some take their time, some just, you know, explode like she did. Um, 
But what's really nice is that there's a development, you know, and what's nice is if you invest in nicer geckos, there's even more of a development. One of my, my very first two geckos, they were just, the first one was, was fantastic right when I first got her. Um, the second one was just okay, uh, but she turned out to be one of my, my nicest geckos. Really bright reds, the reds develop a little bit later, but watching them grow, watching them develop over the, you know, a year, two years, three years, it really is rewarding. Reason number five. But before I get into the fifth and final reason why you should buy a gargoyle gecko, you know, if you found this, this useful, if you just like gargoyle geckos in general, I'm gonna be putting out more and more content, hopefully. So please hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's some reasons why people should get gargoyle geckos I didn't think about. But uh, let's jump into the fifth reason. All right, fifth reason why you should buy a gargoyle gecko in 2023 is they're a lot cheaper this year, okay? There's been a correction. 2020, 2021, we had COVID, and a lot of people were looking at getting into different hobbies, including, you know, reptiles, gargoyle geckos included. And, hey, there she goes. Um, so with that, she, uh, she was a lot more expensive back in the day. And so you could pick up a gargoyle like this significantly cheaper today than you could a year, two years ago. And that's really nice for a buyer's market, okay? If you're just starting to get into the hobby, now's the time to jump in because prices are at an all-time low. Maybe not an all-time low, they were a lot cheaper before, but they're, they're lower than when I've, or I've been in the hobby. Um, and so your money can go a lot farther, you can get better quality geckos. If you're just looking for a pet, you can get an awesome gecko at a reasonable price. So now's the time to really look to see what's out there, talk to some breeders, and, and try them out. You know, they're really addictive. You know, I, I didn't know what was high or low price-wise, but I didn't care if it was at, the, at an all-time high back when I bought them. They're fantastic pets, and they're worth every penny. You know, they're, they're fantastic with my kids and my lifestyle, and I really think they could fit into most people's lifestyles. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Bobby, and this is Gecko Cove. I'll see you next time.